In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you, and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke chapter 15. So he told them this parable, What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country, and go after the one that is lost, until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulder, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, for I found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Until he finds it, the shepherd searches that long. The story speaks about God and his disposition. This is how God feels. This is how God deals with us. Like the shepherd who left the ninety-nine in the desert and sought out the one who was lost, so precious is each and every wretched man in the eyes of God. This is what God has done through Jesus Christ. He came precisely to seek and to save those who were lost. This is what God does through his church. The church is the instrument the Lord uses to go out and look for the lost. He seeks until he finds them. The church is the place where even today, Christ receives sinners and eats with them, to the great consternation of some, but to the everlasting joy, the joy he shares with angels in heaven. One could write this inscription over every church door in every picture of Christ. We receive sinners. It is not without reason that the church has been called God's holy church of sinners. We hear the answer, how, how can it be called a church of sinners? We hear the answer in the text, this man receives sinners and eats with them. Not only was it the enemies of Jesus who said this, but he himself, for I came not to call the righteous, but sinners, Matthew 9. The members of God's church have been sinners from the beginning until now. On every page of every parish record book that ever graced this land, a person could write the words of Paul, for there's no distinction, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3. When we look back over the centuries, we see it vividly before our eyes. It was sinners who God called to his church. Many times their sins were revealed and were found written in history. Though they dwelt in sanctification, they never stopped acknowledging that they were sinners, even at the altar during the divine service, I, a poor sinful being. It was precisely the best among them who had the deepest comprehension of how true this was. On Tuesdays, we pray for deliverance against temptation and evil, for the addicted and the despairing, the tortured and the oppressed, and for those struggling with sin. We also pray for our elders meeting this evening at 530, for the work of the elders uh, at Faith Lutheran, and also for the Columbus Circuit Pastors Meeting, which meets today. We pray for the pastors of the circuit, that they be strengthened by Christ's word, for their work. We also pray for all those who have asked our prayers, especially Connie and Cindy, Darren, Deacon, and Debbie, Esther, Ed, and Eve, Graham, Jackson, and Jacob, Jerry, Jim, John, Joshua, and Judy, Justin, and Kate, Lisa, Mark, and Pat, Rachel, Sarah, Sue Ellen, and Tessa. And pray for the family and friends of Dustin, Eric, and Tim that their families be strengthened by God's promises and comfort. We pray for Brittany, Addison, and Alice of the preschool, and for Michael and Danielle missionaries. We also pray for Ed and Bob, who celebrate their birth this day. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you've kept us this night from a harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil that all our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls, and all things. 
Let your holy angel be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.